chi-squared goodness of fit hypothesis tests finding the expected frequency values using continuous probability distributions. Our first example looks at a rectangular continuous probability distribution. Some information about the rectangular probability distribution and some of these are given in the AQA formula book which are now highlighted. Example 1. So we have our O values. The total frequency is 60. We have our E values. Some have been calculated, others are missing. And these will also add up to 60. We have some probabilities. We have to work out the others here. And the probabilities all add up to 1. So we're testing whether our data fits this distribution. So we're going to work out the missing values here. A rectangular distribution on the interval 0, 15. The width is 15. So the height is 1 divided by the width, 1 15th. between 5 and 7 the probability is the width so that's the width of 2 times the height 1 15th so the probability for this area is 2 15th so using our formula for calculating expected frequencies the probability times the total frequency 8 So we've worked out the probability and the expected frequency here is 8. So this is for the class 5 to 7. 5 to 7. Doing something similar with the other classes, working out the missing values. We have 5 classes, so 4 degrees of freedom all of the E values are at least 5. So H0 and H1 working out the test statistic and 2.04 is less than 9.488 so we're going to accept H0. And this value here came from the chi-squared probability tables using a 5% significance level and using four degrees of freedom. So the test conclusion, either one of these is okay for the final conclusion. Next example, an exponential distribution, a basic summary of formulae associated with the exponential distribution. The ones highlighted are given in the AQA formula book. So example two, we need to see if our data fits an exponential distribution with a mean of 20. We're going to work out these missing values. So H0 and H1, making mention of the distribution as well as the parameter. So the mean is 20, so lambda is 1 over 20. Calculating the probability for x between 20 and 40. Zero point two three two five, And that lambda value there is 1 over 20. So the expected value that goes here is this probability times the total frequency 
250, so 58.14. So completing the table gives the following values. This E value is less than 5, so we're, go we're going to combine these two categories to have a new class more than 40. Four classes, three degrees of freedom. Our test statistic, 16.7. It's greater than 7.815. We're going to reject H0. So in the conclusion, we've mentioned the exponential distribution with the assumed parameter that we were testing. Next example, the normal distribution. Example 3. So we're testing to see if our data from the random sample fits a normal distribution with these parameters. So again we're going to work out these missing values. So H0 and H1 mention the normal distribution as well as the parameters these assumed parameters that we are also testing. So this probability here, x between 160 and 170, using this normal distribution, standardizing each value. We've got our z values. So the probability from the tables, 0 0.4713. So the expected frequency here, our probability, times the total frequency, so 37.85. So for this I've used probability tables, but the values I'm going to put into the table have come from a computer, so they're more accurate. Here's an alternative method. So if you can spot symmetry in your data, it's a lot easier. So this value is the same as this one. And based on these classes, this probability and this one should be the same. So now we know this one. So we know that the E value here is also 18.85. So 80 minus all of these E values that we know will give us the remaining one here. And likewise, the probability of 1 minus these probabilities will give us the missing one here. So this is much easier, but only use this method if you can clearly see that there is symmetry based on some values already worked out and by looking at these class intervals. Less than 5, less than 5, so combine our new table, 2 degrees of freedom, our test statistic, 7.55, is greater than 5.991, reject H0. The critical value from the chi-squared tables using the degrees of freedom we've worked out and a 5% significance level. The conclusion in context, making mention of the probability distribution with its parameters.